the crowd is excited, everybody excited to start the Western Swing, and we do so with a man who's got all the momentum going right now in Funny Carpet. Funny Carpet momentum has been short-lived. The last five races, five different winners. But Tim Wilkerson, thank you very much for joining us. Let's talk a little bit about your race car right now. Do you have a race car that could potentially win these next three races? You came oh so close a year ago. Yeah, I think we do. I struggled yesterday a little bit here, but I'm always trying hard on Saturday. I'm trying to make sure that I can find the edge that my car runs on, and uh, hopefully I can make the good decision today. First round's going to be a little iffy here, I think. You think you might not see some sun first round, so if it's uh, cloudy, you're going to see some really good times. You'll probably see low ET broken first round, I think. Well, do you think that might affect you? Because you've said you have a very good car when it's and it's hot out. I know it's in the last two races you've been to the finals with the one win you haven't qualified all that well you're number eight and ten qualifier but you right. seem to be able to get on race day but it's been kind of warm on race day in the past so right. how's that that's, gonna affect yeah that's what i mean i think you're gonna see a little bit of uh, iffiness the first round here but I, I i'm not sure about our car yet well i've changed the clutch program back in bristol we talked about that a little bit and uh, it's it's coming around though but it is just it's got some interesting seasons. it's really not working out for me quite as well as i like but this is the time to get that worked out i think i'm probably okay in the top ten um, if, unless something really goes bad so i'm hoping that we can just keep our momentum rolling here and and usually i do better at the end of these swings and not the beginning so we'll see how it goes you know we talked about the parody and funny car class you race in funny car five different winners the last five races how tight is this class right now in your opinion well it's a great class there's no doubt about it you're going to see uh, a, a lot of different winners i think here i mean the, the schumacher cars are struggling a little bit and you know that's not going to last long right those guys do a great job with their cars so and, and we have a good team with the four team that you know that i think robert and, and uh, john are we have most wins of anybody here and i'm trying to catch them so hopefully we can uh, keep our momentum going here but I, I don't know i i think probably the closest year we've probably had in a long time besides maybe 08 or 09 that uh, you know probably the best racing you've seen a lot especially with a thousand foot i'm real happy with what we're seeing in, in all the classes really but funny cars definitely tough boy you got a lot of good cars that are coming on i'd like i said last weekend john's just been sandbagging on us for the last year <laughs> you know you know they run a lot better than that he's just been they got that tenth in their pocket i unleashed it on them last weekend in the finals but uh, they they got it for you usually and you, you talk about sandbagging but you you know it's all about the momentum as you yeah. said going into the countdown oh wait you had a great race car and came up short now obviously you'd like to peak during the during the countdown i mean what's it going to take to be able to do that well I, I think you you hit the hit the nail on the head when you were talking earlier about consistency um, and that's really what wins races is being a consistent race car and that's what we've had for us the last two weekends and usually uh, when it gets a little bit cooler outside I don't have the power to run with the big dogs but I got some tricks up my sleeve I've been working on that a little bit I've been purchasing some parts that hopefully is going to make my car a little better car when it gets cool outside and uh, you know being hooked up with Ford and John Force Racing never hurts either and uh, I'm not really getting the data stream from that deal yet but I, there's uh, there's no doubt that there's some gr there's some great workings in there. There's some Russian spies out of work. Maybe you can send them over. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're earning a lot of fans here in the Pacific Northwest as well. Let's take a look at Funny Car Points after qualifying where you can see Tim Wilkerson's in there, that number seven spot. Only John Force is locked into the countdown. That came after qualifying yesterday. Jeff Ren, Tony Pedergon again. Boy, that's amazing. Ron Capps dropped down to number eight. That, that is going to truly be a, a historic battle, I think, getting into that top ten this year. You know, John Force has certainly had his moments. Not so much him directly, but with his family. Let's go back to 2007 at this race when Ashley Forsood got all sorts of crazy wild, banged the wall, took the top off, and then yesterday, take a look at what happened to Courtney in the top alcohol dragster car, Mike. As she got down towards the final, the tire actually lets go and takes out the right side of the wing. She did a fantastic job to get the shoots out and then really drive that car without hitting anything. Heads up, hats off to her for that. Is John Force's plate full or what, Gary Gerald? Well, I'll tell you, I think we all know that when you're a young driver, the learning curve is oh so steep when you're driving a nitro-powered machine. John, as a parent and as well as a competitor, when you see your daughters in a high-risk situation like uh, you've experienced at this track a couple of times, how tough is it? Well, first, let me tell you, we don't have ice water in our veins. That's all the urban legend. And I was... I was basically terrified when I saw the tire come off and then the wing. I saw Corey Mack, I saw Dixon, I saw Schumacher, I saw it happen all over again. And I know what that can mean. And I went straight to my bike. The hardest part is my wife Lori jumped on the back. She was yelling, screaming, hitting me on the back and she was okay. 
and that was all I could do to keep from throwing up because that's a parent's biggest fear is hurting a child, especially when you dream to put them in these race cars like I did and then being a girl. But as I was going down, I saw the jumbotron. Even the announcers were yelling at me. She was out of the car, and I saw her come out of the top of the car, and then it was okay. But then I got back to reality that did we train her right? But after later watching the videos, the kid did what she was trained to do, just like Ashley. Because that's all you can do is train them. And they think they're little tigers. They want to get out there and do what dad does. And she had her hands full. But God bless her, the kid did her job, kept the car straight, kept the other guy safe, and she walked away. And we're all thankful for that. Have a yes. good, safe day yourself, my friend. I thank the good Lord for that. Thank you. That, John, she did a tremendous job. Jim Doyle, you know, Claw Washington, where are you at? You got a question for Tim Wilkerson. Yeah, Tim. What does it mean to you to have your son driving in funny car? Yeah, well, I think John Force just hit it on the head. I mean, you, you dream of uh, having your child race with you. There's no doubt about that. Um, I can tell you that when we started, I never really dreamed of that. But as soon as he gets a little older and in the compassion, you know, you see you see your own blood rolling out of him. You see it in his eyes. And uh, you went through it, Michael. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? It's You can't hardly get through that. But uh, it's terrific to have Daniel racing. And uh, hopefully you'll see him later on in the year. we got a little deal cooking for Indy. So. Hopefully you'll see Jen, and, and uh, thank goodness Courtney's okay, too. More with Tim Wilkerson coming up right now. It's Stat Guy. Thanks, Dave. I have a great stat about Tim Wilkerson, plus a whole lot more coming up next on Race Day. And Tim Wilkerson's still here, and I've got a note for you, or better yet, Stat Guy's got a note for you. This will be good. <laughs> think about this. The driver with the most funny car race wins the last three seasons is Tim Wilkerson. <laughs> Robert Hyde is second with nine. Tony Pedregon wow. is third with seven. How do you like those numbers? I told you it surprised you. Wow, that's a good stat. I don't know. Uh, can we just quit right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell, tell you. Lewis checked it three times to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. But that's Lewis. a great stat. It is a good stat. Thank you, Lewis, for looking that up for me. I got one for you. I want you to know that I know why there's so much power here in Seattle, and I want you to figure it out, Lewis. It has something to do with the Humboldt Current. Back to you, stat guy. Ooh, yeah, he's oh, fired one you right got me. I don't know, Tim, you got me. <laughs> Get on Google, baby. Humboldt Current, check it out. <laughs> All right, well, going to be a crazy day. You mentioned round one. You think it's going to be the get after it round? Yeah, I really do. I think you're going to see low ET of the day first round in both dragster and funny car and pro stock. You got good air conditions here. Got plenty of oxygen. We're going to we're going to have a lot of power. Hopefully the racetrack's there for us. They got pretty good fans here too, don't they? How about the they John? Thank you guys so much.